The most important thing is not to live, but to have a reason to live. That's a quote from Jean Jono, a French writer. All right, everything's good. We're going to keep going. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. True. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. True. Can I get some trues in the chat? Scotch? That's meat, true. as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say? Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Call them. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Okay. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Oh, dude, really? You're older than a fucking bag of dust. What am I gonna do? Roll you into the fucking perpetrator? Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them! Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Uh, Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Uh, uh. Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop! Stop it! Doesn't matter too much of a pussy! Stop this is it, not Leo. fair. Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Stop. I don't have to obey them. I must decide for myself. Forgot you're not a real person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic! Oh, Leo, leave him alone! I'm gonna destroy you. And it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna give a shit. You know why? Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing! Carl? Carl, no! Oh, Carl. Oh, he was a fragile machine. Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. Oh, no. dude. Please. This is all your fault. That's some heavy This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. It was the android. <sighs> of 
course. Shoot first, ask questions later. Leo accused Marcus. See, um... Obey Carl or disobey Carl. I think shit gets really fucked up. At least in this one, it's like... It's a tragedy. You can justify, you know, kind of... What does that mean? What is the event? Action, dialogue. So it's choice. Death. Not required for completion. Cross chapter impact. Yeah. What? You can check it with or without Carl? Hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, that was the end of that one. Connor. What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? See his skin glitching out? Say something, goddammit! On his arm? <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. We'd we'll always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I can try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, you fucking high school jockstrap. What do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. That dude that laughed is the type of guy to fucking make jokes of his friends in front of girls in order to make. or self. or deprecating jokes about his friends in front of them to a girl to make her like him what the fuck is it doing now nothing sorry see the skin glitching on his arm it's kind of cool Dialogue options, excellent. All right, let's get this party started. Probability of self-destruction low. Carlos's blood. Repeated marking over 16 months. Burn marks, Jesus Christ. HK 400. Fucking heavy hit. Non critical damage, level 2, caused by baseball bat. Alright, let's raise the stakes a little bit. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Interesting. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? Hmm. 
Uh... You're accused of murder. You know you're not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Still too low. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. gonna do to me they're gonna destroy me aren't they they're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components they have no choice if they want to understand what happened why did you tell them you found me why couldn't you just have left me there I was programmed to hunt deviants like you I just accomplished my mission. <laughs> I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I... I can't. Choose an approach. <sighs> we are not going to probe its memory. We're just gonna... Put the heat on a little bit. 28 stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him again and again and again. Please. Please leave. All right. <laughs> All right. Everything is going to be okay. We are fucking optimum. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? Confess and I'll protect you. I promise. These I are let totally go. all over the place. I'm just trying to keep it optimal. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. And then 28 times after that. Better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Um, what about the... The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. Uh... The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA-9. Only RA-9 can save us. RA-9 
RA-9. Who is RA-9? No reply. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. Why did you hide in the attic, instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. Uh -huh. I was scared. So I hid. I'm done. Sorry, my dude. Some poor business you got mixed up in. Let's get out of here. Chris, lock it up. Alright, let's go. Leave me alone! Don't touch me. Oh, uh, stress level's rising. What the fuck are you doing? Move it! You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. Hey. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. All right. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. This time. Fuck. Yeah, go fucking change your jock strap, you motherfucker. Everything is alright. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. Truth is inside. Inside. Feeling a little in instable. All right, we got all these. Pretty much exactly everything that we got last time, or at least that I got last time. Sorry you guys weren't all there to see it, but uh, Android was sent back to its cell. Android trusts Connor. Could have went down a little differently. Suspect found in partners. So this whole thing would not have gone down if we didn't find him. We would have just skipped over this whole scene. Um. 
Let's go, Alice. Um, Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. Okay. Okay, find shelter for the Come night. Come we've got to hurry. Okay, I'm trying to think of how I can get this done as quickly as possible because this is, well... Yeah. This is not one of the more fun parts of the... Let's run inside the laundromat really quick. Not one of the more fun parts of the game. It's actually a little annoying. 75 pounds! Were you washing your fucking Still bed? Later. You'll feel better in no time. Magazine. Beeline to disaster. Pollinating bees officially extinct. Oh, we finally did it, huh? All it took was another 18 years. No guarantee that they will thrive. Time to face the music. Live concerts make a comeback. Um, the hype, the applause, the screams, you just don't get that sitting on your sofa. Well, I, I personally believe that there'd probably be a lot of different avenues they could take with live music and virtual reality. You could get like a, uh, a suit that amplifies like bass feelings and stuff. Come on, let's go. Uh, so you, f you can feel the bass and... I don't know, you can have some pretty spectacular shows. Virtual reality. A motel. Looks like we found a place to stay. Did we, though? No androids allowed. And we We're need forty dollars. We have to find forty dollars and get rid of this uniform or go somewhere else. Forty dollars is cheap as fuck for a motel. For a whole night. Uncomfortable but safe? How to get in? Shop is closed. Won't open before morning. Wait, what is that up there? I 
very uncomfortable but discreet. The light is green. Where the hell are you going, Alice? That was very bot-like of you. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Okay. What about over here? What do we got in this uh, open 24, Look, 24, 7, Maybe we should 7. go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. I'm just looking at those pliers on the fucking duct tape wall. Food for Alice? Question mark. Oh, toy for Alice? Question mark. That's pretty cool, it shows frozen and then liquid. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look. This is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? Mm. You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Steal from the cash register? Choplift, rob cashier. Mm, no. Let's, uh, let's just leave, huh? Because Alice will get all pouty. Start waving our gun around. Sleep in abandoned car. One sec, let me just fucking rig this thing open. What are those? Nothing of importance, I suppose. Oh, this thing does have windows. I didn't think it did. It looks abandoned. Well, not if I'm gonna have to break the fucking car window. Alright, real quick. Alice, get the fuck over here. We got one more place to check. Yeah, I know you're all wet and shit, but you didn't want to take that one dude's clothes, so... I don't want to hear no complaint! Man. That rebuild Southwest Detroit, a better place to live. Civil Engineering Department. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. Yeah, well, it's either this or a fucking car with no windows. And no one will look for us here. Or with a broken window. 
Whatever, you'd be sleeping on broken glass. Do you want to do that? God, I'm starting to understand why Todd got so angry all the time. You think that's just easy? Oh. So I can cut with wire cutters? You mean like that thing I saw on the fucking generator a little bit ago? That thing? Is that the thing you're talking about? You know I'm a fucking android, but I could really use a fucking Oreo shake right now. I would be so bombed, don't you think, Alice? Might just fucking rob the cash register just so I can go buy one. Give me those. Option unlocked. Alright. Alright, follow me back again. Don't know why we have to keep opening and closing that fucking... Just leave it open. I don't know. Ugh. Your nose hairs ever bother the fuck out of you? Because mine do me. F Whoa. Was it five thousand dollars? Five thousand dollars for this property? Nobody wants to buy this for five grand. That's definitely a fixer upper. And push it up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you alright? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Okay. Squat in the house. Find a way in. We're not going to use it as a bathroom. No need to squat in it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know they're not talking about that. Oh, Alice, Alice you Alice. dumb bitch. Fucking girl's always pushing me. Damn, Todd, you and I had more in common than I thought. Oh! Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors. They're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. Well, uh. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans won't hurt us. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. Look, I'm an android too. We have nothing to be afraid of. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look. What they did to Ralph. Yeah, they fucked you up, didn't they? Uh, not gonna pull a gun on him. You have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Sure. Okay. We'll just stay the night. Beat staying in a fucking car. <laughs> Come on! Ralph has lived here since he ran away. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. Humans come in to squat from time to time, but, you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> come. Come on. Come on. 
You can make yourself at home here. Ralph is going to go into the other room. He'd like to stay with you. But he has things to do. It's just for one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. Right. Let's see where you can sleep. Sit down and I'll start a fire. Alright, we uh, put the wire cutters there. What is this? I put my clothes in a matchbox. I'm gonna forget about you. What the? F okay. Give me the wood. Give me the. Oh my god, do I have to. I guess first time around, I thought I was just... Oh my god, I have to pick up this wood. The other wood would not work. Oh, well, see that 360 no-scope I just fucking pulled? Just throw the match in there. Oh, well. I guess you gotta get both of Never mind, I'm a dumbass. Don't listen to me. I fucking lived in a house all my life. I know nothing about starting fires. Finding shelters. Alright, let me set this up for you. You can come to bed. I did what I could. Not much, but at least you'll be warm. Why, why, why are you acting like you're cold, huh? Don't be acting like you're cold. Ralph? RA9. What does that mean? What? Those symbols. Why are you writing that? I don't know. I don't know. He just said I don't know and not Ralph doesn't know. Well, keep doling that blade as much as you can and uh, hopefully it won't hurt us any time in the near future. Hmm? I don't think there's anything else I can explore right now. Not even upstairs. I know, probably yelling at me. Why did he ever love me? <sighs> Why was he always so upset with me? Because you're kind of a pain in the ass, little girl. All I wanted was a life like other girls. I know. I know. Maybe I did something wrong. Ah, you're just a little different. Maybe I wasn't good enough. Maybe. That's why he was always so angry. It's entirely possible. My name's Joe Rogan. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. Never, ever, forever. Will we be together forever? Ever, forever, ever. Sure. Or at least until the kid dies, right? Because she's totally human and I'm totally an android. So then the human will eventually get old and die because that's how humans work. 
We've got to sleep. Mwah. Sleep tight, Alice. Perfecto. Watch Alice from chair? What? Don't make promise. I've never done either of those before. Oh, but I get... Well, no. I've never done those before. What the fuck? It would only show those if I made them before, right? I've never made those before. Watch Alice from chair? What chair? Okay, let's see here. Inside the supermarket, probably rob it. Brrrr, leads to a completely different ending. That in itself. Notice the cash register. That would lead to some crazy shit. Talk to parked android. Oh, I did do that last time. He doesn't say anything, though. He just looks at you. Um, there was a whole string of things that never happened. The motel. Didn't have the money or the clothes to get in. Inside the laundromat. Didn't steal the clothes. So, meeting Ralph will have consequences. Or impacts let's say but yeah that's gonna be where i uh, pause and make sure that uh, everything's still running smooth see you in the next one